Hello students. So in the last lecture, we were talking about the wave function psi. I told you all that in classical mechanics, if I know, for example, the position and the momenta of the of a particle, then with the help of the Newton laws of motion, we can know the physical observables or how the system evolves later at time t. But in quantum physics, all the information of the particle is contained in the wave function psi. So, before closing the last lecture, I made a remark that uh, I'll just change the slide. So, I'll quickly do a recap of the last statement which I made in the last lecture. So, I said that the Schrodinger The Schrodinger wave function if I know the wave function psi then I know everything about the particle and so which wave function what are the properties of the wave function which wave function is a valid wave function so for that I made a remark that the Schrodinger wave function psi xt must for all values of t be a square integrable function of x. Function of x. And such kind of wave functions which satisfy this condition, they are termed as normalized wave function. A wave function which satisfies this condition condition is termed as normalized wave function. Okay, so far so good. So now we know that and if I normalize the wave function to unity, then I can fix the constant. So, and I told you that if the wave function psi is given, then the probability density is given by mod psi square, the probability of finding the particle at x. Okay, so I can write this x is equal to all space mod psi x can take t also dx and if n is the constant this is equal to 1 and then I can so all space I can take from minus infinity to infinity and I can fix this n and this then the wave function is said to be normalized and this wave function has to be single valued so we'll see in further examples and its derivatives are continuous at the boundaries so all these properties slowly we'll see when we do some examples of quantum physics okay now let us move on I was so I said that quantum mechanically if I want to study the dynamics of the system then what do I need? I need an equation of motion. For example, in classical physics, we have f is equal to ma. Classically, we have f is equal to ma. Now, these Newton laws of motion, these cannot be derived. They are the postulate. Similarly, in quantum physics, we have fundamental equations of motion and given by Schrodinger. Mental equation of motion given by Schrodinger which will give us 
the dynamics of the system that how psi changes with t by schrodinger known as schrodinger time dependent equation again this equation is a postulate it cannot be derived but we can see that how he must have guessed this equation okay so let us try to see this let us assume let us assume a particle assume a particle moving along of mass m moving along x direction okay right in short and let wave function psi associated with this particle let wave function psi of x and t be associated with this particle particle then we can write the wave function of this particle as psi xt is equal to exponential with some constant a minus i omega t minus kx so we can take a plane wave where the energy of the particle is given by h cross omega and the momenta is given by h cross k so omega i can write e by h cross and k i can write p upon h cross so this particle is moving in the x direction i take the wave function like this now let me see the position and the time derivative of this wave function so let me calculate why we are doing that we'll see slowly we're just trying to guess the that how it schrodinger might have guessed we are not deriving the schrodinger equation okay so we are just trying to see now if i calculate di del psi by del x okay i take the partial derivative what do i get psi x t i get the derivative of exponential is exponential and if i uh, take the derivative with respect to x what do i get i get k out okay and first in this wave function i can substitute omega and k in terms of e and p so my wave function would be I can write it here is equal to a exponential if I take instead of omega I take e by h cross here p by h cross h cross I can take common so I can get exponential minus i by h cross e t minus px so i've done nothing i have just substituted omega and k in terms of e and p where e is my energy and p is the momenta okay now here when i do the derivative respect to x i see that p comes out or here k comes out later on we can substitute p it's the same thing so what do i get here i p upon h cross again i will get the exponential a exponential the same thing so i can write this as psi xt this is my equation number 2 now once again i would like to take the derivative double derivative with respect to x this is equal to minus ip will again come common will from the psi when i take the derivative and ip into ip is minus p square upon h cross square psi of xt okay now i take the time derivative of the this wave function with respect to t then it will take out e 
minus i e upon h cross from this equation you can see this wave function okay you can name this as 1a minus i e by h cross psi x t now there is one more important point to note in quantum physics that all the physical uh, physical observables they are they act like an operators okay so now if i take so basically what do we get here from equation number 3 i can write p square psi p square psi x t is equal to minus h cross square del 2 psi by del x square so how we can read this equation as the operator momentum p square it acts on psi okay and i get this then from the another equation of energy here if i take e in psi rest everything i take on left hand side what do i get e psi is equal to minus h cross upon i i can multiply and divide with i then i will get i h cross with positive sign okay i can make it more cleaner okay so this is my energy operator acting on psi now we know that non relativistically so at present we are dealing with the non relativistic quantum physics okay so the total energy of a particle whose velocities are non relativistic energy of the particle is given by by the equation e is equal to p square by 2m plus potential function of x and t okay now what do i do all these are physical observables i act these physical observables on the wave function psi okay so what is the equation number here i have written 3 okay this is my equation number 4 sorry so i can take this as equation number 5 and this as 6 and this 7 now you see that i have the energy operator acting on psi and i have the momentum operator acting on psi if i substitute both these in this equation what do i get e psi i got i h cross del psi by del t is equal to i have multiplied here numerator and denominator by i p square by 2m i got minus h cross square by 2m del 2 psi upon del x square plus v psi t okay what is this what do i get here this is my schrodinger's time dependent equation so please be clear that we have not derived the schrodinger equation it cannot be derived it's a postulate which schrodinger has given we are just trying to see that how he must have guessed this is so by a taking a plane wave we can guess that schrodinger's time dependent equation this equation tells us all dynamics of psi that how psi changes with t okay if i know the given the initial condition psi x not then from this equation psi x t can be determined so this equation will give me will tells me how psi changes with t 
this is equivalent to the newton laws of motion as we which we use in classical physics and if psi x not is given then one can determine psi x t okay so now in the next lecture we'll try to see the solution of this equation okay and then we'll try to understand it okay thank you